Hey everyone, this is my walkthrough on Sly 2 Band Thieves, and we're gonna get started on the seventh episode of this game, Menace in the North E. And this is, uh, personally, another one of my favorite levels, but has probably my least favorite challenge in this game ever. You'll see when we do it. Things just weren't right up in Canada. Random acts of violence were popping up like weeds, and the Northern Lights, well, they just weren't right. One night they'd be brighter than ever, and the next, gone. In Nunavut Bay, I overheard talk between Jean Besson and his mysterious partner, Arpeggio. Somehow, those two are behind it all. Tracking the source of the disturbance was easy. By simply following the lights, we were led north to an immense lumber camp. The sheer number of fallen trees advertised Jean Besson's presence and that he was in possession of the clockwork talons. Pathevius Raccoonus makes numerous references to the talons slicing through plates of steel. A skilled lumberjack like Besson can clear a forest in hours while wielding the artifacts. Those talons have got to go, both to finally do away with clockwork and to save the environment from his twisted sense of progress. The world just doesn't need to make space for another strip mall. Okay, so from our cozy little safe house in Nunavut Bay, Canada, we'll travel to another made-up location in Canada. Yay! I call this place Cheval de Fer, Canada, which is John Bisson's warehouse, I guess. I use Pont Inlet as a location. Of course, this location doesn't really exist. Okay, guys, here it is. Chapter 7, Menace in the North, eh? And um, I'm really happy to get uh, started on this mission, mainly because it brings us ever so much closer to the okay, end of the game. And so um, it's, it's a nice level. Except for the end. Way to pick up a battery from Jean Bisson. And two, the only way we'll get a crack at Arpeggio's clockwork brain is by finding a way to sneak aboard his blimp. Ah! Before we do that, we'll need to snag the clockwork talons off John Bisson. Time is short, we've got a lot to accomplish. True, true, but first things first. This lumber camp isn't on any of my maps. Oh, really? I need you to poke around and take some recon photos. They'll help to get my sensors oriented. No problem. Recon photos, I got covered. Hooray. In anticipation of the icy climate, I took the liberty of modifying your cane. It can now separate into two smaller canes. Useful for ice climbing. Try ascending to the top of that sheet of ice. Just jump and hit the circle button to dig in. Sure, you actually modified it. I'm pretty sure what actually happened is like he was just like... Helping fix it and just actually broke it. Oops. I can fix this. I can fix this. But now now we can uh, climb up ice, which is actually really nice. By the way, how this mission starts is one of my favorite missions ever. This is It's very unique. Considering I've always what happen, wondered what happens to the icon as soon as you touch it. So this is Recon the Saw now. And one of my favorite ways to ever start a level. By the way, be very careful of those eagles. They will, If you're near the safe house, they will try to attack you. Oh, damn it. Oh, well, good, that, good thing that happened. All right, let's start this mission. Yeah! I don't know why that cracked me up so much. Alright, fine. So we have like four pictures to take pictures of. Wow, really good job, Neon Fox. That, that's totally spot on. Of course you have to take a picture of a picture. The dumbest thing I've ever said so far. Well, I'm pretty sure I've said a lot of Um, by the way, I don't know if you can hear me eating. Sorry, um... I'm just having a little bit of um, some oatmeal cookies. Yeah, I don't know why, but my favorite, my favorite kind of cookie ever is the oatmeal cookie. And you know, like all my friends mock me. I like oatmeal raisin too. Um, but I mean, like, I'll only eat it like if there's not oatmeal and ice. That's my favorite, like the ice type, or like the lemon bars. Oh, I love those too. Alright, but we have to take pictures of Sawmill Blade's boat, Jean Bisson's house, and a bear. Okay. No, sir, I know you can probably hear me chewing, and it's probably annoying. There's a clue ball. You don't want to touch that. I want to say that for my clue ball mission. Uh, if you guys probably don't know, I got most of the time, I usually... Oh, bear country, all right. Thanks, Bentley. Signature. 
Probably because he's wearing like one of those bear collars. They tag bears. Um, but yeah, like I'm saying, I usually do the clue balls before I start any level, but I just want to get this mission out of the way because I wanted to. Okay. Also, John Bisson is racist. He is very, very racist. And in this level, actually, I can prove that too. So after you can um, get him on your radio, radio frequency, um, you know sometimes like you can hear the members of the Claw Gang talking through your little intercom thingy, whatever it's called. I don't know. Now, there's a guard freaking out down there. He's probably high. Um, but anyways, and one of them you can hear like it's such a shame that Rajon got put behind bars or something like that. He threw one heck of a party. No, even though he was a foreigner. And I remember when I first heard that, I was like, oh, racist. Is that not? I mean, come on. Even though he's a foreigner. What, what's that supposed to mean? I mean, come on, John Bisson. You're Canadian. He's Indian. You both have so much in common. Like, you were both once colonies of uh, Great Britain. That's true. That's true. Um, you both have country land. Oh, yeah. I, I'm so sorry. <laughs> English is one of your languages, although Canada is official. Um, India, I believe it's Hindi is the, is the official language. So there are a lot of English speakers there. Canada is awesome, though. And so is India. Oh, there's another connection. Both have endangered animals. Alright, there is the sawmill. Alright, awesome. I'm pretty sure I can make some other connections to Canada and India, but I don't really want to right now. Um. Oh man, that was really close. Oh man! I'm gonna get caught by one of these guys, I'm pretty sure. God damn. Come and kill me, that guy's coming. Oh my god. Stupid ducks. I will turn you into foie gras. You don't get out of my way. Or as some people I know call it, foie grass. Really, guys? That's pathetic. Is, wait, isn't it foie gras goose liver? I can't remember if it's like goose liver or um, goose lung. I don't really remember. I think foie gras, I think it's liver. I'm pretty, calm. I'm pretty sure on that. I've had liver before, by the way, it's, it, don't eat it, it's disgusting, it's, it's just, it's gross. Yeah, we're going from oatmeal cookies to liver. It's just disgusting, you don't want to have it. I don't know, why the hell am I talking about this? Um, alright, what else was I going to talk about? Um, well, I do, one thing I like about this level is the fact that you can see the Aurora Borealis in the sky, which is very cool. Although, um... You probably couldn't really see those during daytime, unless... Oh, I'm pretty sure you could. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you could, but I don't think it would be just as visible as it would be at night. Or as stunning. Northern Lights are a pretty spectacular thing to see. Um... Now, there are uh, some more of these hooks that we can use to kind of jettison ourselves up onto here. Um, and of course, like, um, of course, like episode five and episode three, um, this is the main base of the, this member of the Claw Gang's operation. Um, I don't know, why am I supposed to go up here? Oh, damn it, I'm supposed to, it's the boat, duh. God, I'm dumb. Ha, I got the ball in there, too. Wait, it has Wi-Fi? I hear Bentley just say it had Wi-Fi? Well, someone's playing PS3 down there. No, well, we. I don't know. I don't know. I'm stupid. I'm not really up for, for myself today. I'm recording this on a Tuesday. 
um, Tuesday the 12th to be exact on October. I think it's actually gonna be October on Apple. No, it should be. Um, oh, I wanna say this though. I'm kind of excited because tomorrow, um, even though tomorrow is pre SATs for me in my school, I'm going to a hot chip concert with my girlfriend. So if any of you live in the San, um, live in the San Diego area and are going to the House of Blues um, on October 13th. Now, why am I telling you this? By the time this video is uploaded, I will, it will have already happened. Uh, well, if any of you were at the House of Blues concert watching Hot Chips on October 13th in uh, downtown San Diego, um, I was there with my girlfriend, so, yeah. Although, um, I doubt, like, anyone's actually... I don't even think anyone... At, um, I don't think anyone who actually watches me lives, like, in the San Diego area. At least near me, anyways. And if so, that's great, but, um... I'd rather you know not where I live, because I like to keep that private. Especially since some of the mess... Oh, man, yeah, this is really hard. The, uh, spinner's really hard to get a picture of. Oh. Um... Oh, come on. Yeah! Just well, looking yeah. at that spinner makes me dizzy. Yeah, you're looking at a blank picture. Someone gets nauseous very easily, don't you? I'm nauseous. I'm not. I can totally picture Bentley saying that. Oh, please, tell me you guys know what I'm nauseous is from. And then afterwards, like when he's reading his plans, you, have, you turn the page, you wash your hands. You turn the page, you wash your hands. And then you turn the page, and then you wash your hands. Ah, God. I love that show. Well, you mumble too, but that's no big whoop. Come on, Tom. You got it in you. Those lumberjack games need some more competition, eh? What would attract the participants? Bullseye. I'll post the clockwork talons as a trophy. That Ooh. should bring in the competition. Although, who am I kidding, eh? I'm a gonna win just like every other year. <laughs> I'm a gonna oh, win. Yeah, I'm a gonna win. Awesome! You get to chop wood or cummerbunds. Why is that so exciting? Sorry if you were a lumberjack. Well, guys, John Vissan has unknowingly thrown down the gauntlet. With the clockwork talons as a trophy, we'd be fools not to participate in his lumberjack games. Yeah! Fortunately, due to frequent avalanches, a log chopping guide was frozen in a wall of ice not far from our position. Sly, you're in charge of acquiring the book. Okay, I'm easy sure enough. will prove invaluable. Now, we're all aware that Arpeggio's blip is coming to pick up another battery. To sneak aboard... Okay, I am seeing lines right now, like, through the like, uh, camera. Away if so, I'm really battery. sorry, guys. However, uh, the location uh, of the device sucks. is still a mystery. We need some inside information. I guess my TV's actually... So, working you together, you two will infiltrate the Moose Guard's secret RC combat club. Those guys all work at the lighthouse. If you win the battle, I'm sure they'll talk. Awesome. Despite his antique mind, Jean Bisson's no fool. To keep tabs on him, we'll need to bug his house. Steal the radio tags off local bears and oh, then carry them into a sensor array. It's a challenging set of tasks, and that blips on its way. Okay. Let's get to work. All right. So uh, next time on Sly Two Band Thieves, we're gonna knock out some of those challenges so we can get ready for the big Canada Games, eh? And um, also uh, post in the comments if you know anyone who's a lumberjack. I don't know, or if you're are one. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'll see you guys next time. I'm not getting weird today.